All right, YouTube, the Airbus A380. This thing is awesome. We got the spoilers added in. We got the spoilers and flaps added. We got the differential thrust. We got it all. This thing is so awesome. We're gonna take off and fly this thing for a beautiful sunset flight tonight. We have some brand new stuff coming to you very soon as in the next couple of days so stay tuned but in the meantime we've got this awesome experience to share take off flap dialed in five thousand milliamp 3s pack turnage heavy duty not very heavy duty if you ask me, but still looks awesome. 5,000 milliamp balances it out real nicely though. Gosh, it looks so real, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good. Sounds good too. That was a no flat pass there. As you can tell, we're nice and stable. Oh man. Gorgeous. Right in the elevator just a little bit. Take off flaps here. We'll do a nice slow pass this time. Coming up over the tree line, the vampire killing zone. Full landing flaps. No, no spoilers though. Oh yeah, baby. Man, this pack is weak. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go just over the tree line this time. We'll bring it in just over the top of the bottom of the loop on the power lines there, hon. Okay. Full landing flaps coming in just over the top of it. Here we go, slow pass right in front of you, Megan. Full power. That differential thrust will kick that tail wherever you put it. Holy crappers. That was close to the tree, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Full landing flaps. Watch the spoilers. Watch when I come over. Spoiler deployment now. 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 Oh, that looks so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome, guys. Look at that sharp turn. Okay, out of the spoilers. Ready to take off. Here we go. Full throttle. done that before okay i'm walking uh so yeah that uh i didn't have enough power to get it off the ground guys that's too bad i mean i fixed this plane i'll fix it again it's not that big a deal looks like the nacelles broke here but i mean the level of detail we put into this plane i'm not going to let it die over some minor damage like that it's not really that big a deal did some grass cutting there differential thrust everything everything's gonna go back together just fine we just got to find the nose gear okay but before the crash was that not beautiful it looked really come good. back for more guys okay guys so we're gonna fix this quick actually because all we have to do is glue the two nacelles on and then we're back in action I uh I repair a lot of stuff really quick you guys probably don't realize how much I crash because um well I do film a lot of my flights anymore, but the thing is, there's just it's just part of flying. You're going to have crashes. What happened there was I just could not resist the touch and go style, and I just didn't have it in me to get off the ground again. This battery must not have very much balls in it left. So, so what happens when you go for a second time? Well, sometimes when you go for a second time, you're a little bit worn down, okay? So I I'm just saying you just need to get it up. you just need to have a little bit of grace for the participants. <laughs> you know, sometimes they just don't perform quite the same. So a little mucilage here. Guys, if anybody's listening, if you know where to get mucilage other than Hobby King, please let me know. I, I don't I'm not a Hobby King hater, but I just I can't handle any more of their website. Too frustrating frustrating man so I want to I want to I want to buy it but I just I mean it's only like three or four bucks I mean it's the cheapest thing you get 
But this stuff is awesome because now look, I just put a little bit on each surface, the mating surfaces here. And then I'm just going to bring it up. You want to get a better shot so they can see what's actually happening there. See this? I'm just going to hold that in there. You see how tight of a joint that makes already? And then I just pull it away, let it string up a little bit, and then ram it in the hole. And I literally do that for a few seconds. And then I let it seep out some. And then I grab my Q-tip. And after I clean my ears, just kidding, I just come in here and spin it. I just spin it. You hear that buzz, guys? That's from all the numerous ridiculous amounts of surfaces I'm trying to control, or excuse me, I'm trying to run off of a single Metal Gear Servo. I probably should have had multiples, but I didn't want to overwhelm the electronics. I've already got differential thrust and all this crap going on, so it's just, it's pretty demanding. Although I do have a BC in here. I think I added an aftermarket BC. So I'm gonna grab some tape to hold that real quick. And then basically as we get done, guys, it's going to be super easy. All we're going to do is we're basically going to take some masking tape. This foam, will, this foam will lose its finish, so I put it on my shirt or my pants or whatever. And then I just basically sit there and stick it down. Because otherwise you'll pull the finish off of the, off the foam. Okay, so we're just going to hold that in place and just stick it. That's just going to hold it. I mean, I could, I could probably actually just like fold the tail over and then... Like if the impatient pilot wanted to fly again, he could probably fly again. Of course. Okay, trade spots. I gotta do the same thing again on the second one. The crazy thing is I barely lost any of my cosmetic stuff. Um, my camera crew was supposed to clean all the grass out of themselves while I was gone, but she, she obviously didn't. I did the other side. She, she didn't really care to finish a job properly, I see. Look I know, the, but look at those sweet decals. Those decals are pretty awesome. Guys, if you want to see how we made these decals, we have a video series. The camera crew is featured in that series. And people <laughs> ask me all the time, they're like, how come she's never in the videos? And, and I'm like, well, she is occasionally, but I mean, it's like once every 10 years. She doesn't want to be. She doesn't want to be. <laughs> that's the key. So, that's annoying listening to that thing buzz, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm like way too lazy to take the battery out. Of course. Oh, well, it's kind of a... It's a hassle to get the battery out on this thing. It's going to be dead anyway by the time we're done screwing around with this. Yeah. Okay, you need to me spots again so um, I can reach. Okay. So basically, I just use that to clean all this crap off. So that's going to be real fun. So in my haste, I'm just going to take the grass off of it. I'm still going to use this. I'm just basically spreading the mucilage with the other half of the Q-tip. Now, there's nothing magical about Q-tips, but if you've seen my channel for... All the years we've been doing this, we've been using Q-tips like crazy. Um, no, I don't have any uh, equity positions in the, uh, well, actually, I probably, I actually <laughs> probably do, uh, but only recently so that I could cash in on the uh, COVID toilet paper rush. So let's see. And all, I, ironically enough, that's just a big loser anyway, so who cares? I'm just going to stick this glue here. And this uh, mucilage is what it's called. Mucilage is, uh, it's kind of like rubber cement. If you guys remember from when you were a kid in uh, elementary school, if you're an old enough fart to understand what that means. Uh, rubber cement was a product that they gave us that would get you high if you tried to huff it, which of course, you know, I no was an angel. Ever Nobody ever did that. But you could also make boogers out of it. And that was mostly the sort of thing I would do. Um... But yeah, they used to give us that in school and we would use it to glue, you know, things like paper together. And then they came along with this Elmer's glue, which is made out of like cow hooks or something. And it doesn't work as good. This stuff is awesome and it's really good. Problem is the stuff they gave us in, in school would have eaten the foam. This stuff does not eat the foam. And it, when it first comes out of the tube, it's super runny and awesome. And then after like two or three years, of sitting in your basement while you're moving and not using it. It kind of gets dried out and crappy. So that's why I'm paying the price. But as you can see, it just it just works really nicely. And uh, over here, you'll see this stuff will just kind of bulge out as it dries here. So what I'll do is I'll take and just grab, a, grab the edge with a slightly tacked up Q-tip and it'll pull all the excess out, okay? Since this is a white plane, you're not going to notice that sort of thing. So it's going to be really easy, quick and quick and dirty, quick and dirty. Um, so now that we've got those, oh no, look. Did you break up? Pro oh. Dang it, I did. Shoot. Son of a gun biscuit. Watch this, guys. 
That is super frustrating. Okay, throttle cuts on. So in my haste to uh, claim that we could fix this in five minutes, I must have uh, jinxed myself slightly because I can't fix that fan blade uh, in five minutes. I'm gonna have to either find another 50 millimeter EDF fan that will uh, suitably replace this, or I'm going to have to get really creative. It looks like I lost two of the five blades and uh, that is the death sting, unfortunately. I do have other EDFs that are in that size class, so maybe I can find one. But I figured I would go ahead and show a quick repair video since we haven't done one of those for a while. Um, I, I still do a lot of repairs these days. I just don't film it quite as much. Um, and that's not to say that it's not happening. I just don't film it as much because it's maybe not my primary focus. My focus is usually trying to get new stuff out to the market and help you guys figure out what's going to be good as a beginner and all that good jazz. Got all sorts of glue and stuff all over this. Are you doing mucilage on the nose No, gear the landing too? gear, we modified these landing gear and when you get up close, they look really ugly, but I mean, you should have seen what they look like when they were new. They were just like the ugliest things from ugly. They were, that, yeah, terrible. They were really, really, really ugly. Even so, I thought they were ugly. Yeah, my wife doesn't even care and she thought these <laughs> things were super ugly. See that? I got glue on there, which is perfect. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this capped off, put it on the, the edge here. That's uh, medium CA. It's not foam safe, but it doesn't matter. And then I got kicker here. And I'm just going to do a simulated tail strike. And I'm going to stick this in the hole. And hopefully I can get that to stick without causing grief for the steering mechanism. Okay. So that's going to set up like actually very, very fast. Okay, so not quite that fast though. I'm just kind of looking at it and when I feel like I can let the weight off of it, I want to quick get turning. Mm, that kicker yeah. will get up in the joint. Yep. Okay, now you'll notice I have a mix on here. The throttle cut stops the differential thrust. If the throttle cut were off, you guys see that? That is so cool to watch. See how one side goes, then the other side goes. Oh, so cool, guys. This plane didn't even have a rudder when I got it. And it also looked like some sort of a cartoon turd. But <laughs> well, it, was it, did, white. it did fly good. I mean, a white turd. I mean, you're saying there's not white turds? You might want to check with your doctor. Yeah, I was just going to say, if you have white turds, that would be bad, <laughs> probably. But at any rate, guys, this thing is awesome. I love flying it. I love flying it for you. It's just one of those planes that sits downstairs and taunts me as I walk by to do something important like put a lawnmower in the basement or in the you know, night. clean up the sump pump backing up or, you know, whatever sort of horrible thing that you have to do in your basement. I see this thing and I'm like, that thing is a thing of beauty and I want to play with you. And then uh, what happens is you wait for a beautiful, gorgeous sunset and you come outside and instantly crash it for your small youtube audience you're welcome come back for more okay guys this thing sounds so good doesn't it i'm gonna shut up now going to be really weird sounding on this side. That's where the EDS broken. Okay, coming in for a real, real tight turn here. Control test. My wife warned me about taking off. So, because <laughs> the camera crew, crew warned me, this plane may see to live to see another day, but it's not gonna be as happy as if it were to fly again. Because let's just be honest, guys. I don't know if you've seen the video series, but look at that bend in the wing, man. That was a thing, guys. That was a big thing, actually. Yeah, See how it right. bends down for the uh, 
simulated weight of the fuel and the wings. That was a thing, guys. It took a lot of effort. And by the way, that relaxes to a perfect dihedral in flight. I love the way that this plane flies. I just wish that it would not crash every time I tried to fly it into my grass. <laughs> not every time. really think that thing can't handle flying, camera crew? Yes. Why? Because you're missing two fan blades and your battery sucked when you crashed and it's been an extra however many minutes. What are you doing to me? Going around you for extra effort. Thanks. <laughs> I'm too old for that. We gotta leave the APU running so the people don't get really hot like it is. Actually, it's not even hot, it's beautiful. It's super nice right now. All right, guys, throttle cuts on. All I've got to say is this thing is beautiful. I love putting it together, minus the part where I had to do that. Put it together. <laughs> but it was fun, and this Itch. thing is beautiful. If there's any manufacturers out there like, you know, that want to build one of these for me, uh, that's brand new, like maybe with 64 millimeter 6S setup, I'm not saying it has to be the same as the A10 that we recently reviewed from Horizon Hobby or anything like that, if you're listening. If you build it, they will buy it. Is that the way it goes? Close enough. Yeah. Okay. We do live in it. Come back for more.